I'm currently here at the Kotoka International Airport following up on reports of passengers going wild yesterday when their Tamale bound flight was cancelled. Now, according to the operators of the airline, Africa World Air, this was due to some technical challenges that they were having with their jet, so they couldn't fly and put passengers at risk yesterday. However, they were assuring that today they are going to do everything to get the passengers safely to their destinations, that is Tamale, today. But coming here, I still see that there are a few passengers around, so I'm joined by two of them in the person of Mohammed and Mr. Zafara. They are going to give us an update as to how they are being treated today. What essentially happened here? Well, we were not allowed to speak to management, so we went around the counter where they are checking in to tell them to stop working. If they didn't attend to us, they were not going to attend to anybody because we didn't see the reason why Kumasi was going, Takurari was going, and Tamale wasn't going. If they think they are not making profit on the Tamale route, they should cancel it. We are already used to traveling by route. So right now, we have come. Fortunately for them, the first people who came very early because they were told to come around 6, they have gone. The second flight that is supposed to go is still waiting. They should have left around 10.30 and they are asked to wait for another one hour 30 minutes. We, so because of that, we are also supposed to wait for another one hour 30 minutes. We should have also left around 11.30, but I believe we'll be leaving around one. So we are still waiting. So Mr. Mohammed, for yes. you too, I mean, what has the situation been like for you? It's, it's terrible. The management has not been on the best side since uh, this uh, issue arised. I think uh, they are over enjoying the monopoly. So we just pray that uh, a new airline emerges so that I think they do not have respect, especially for those of us going to the north. Yes, we sat yesterday for close to five hours and nothing was uh, said to us. We had to come to the, uh, 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 the booking uh, section and then fight our way through before we're told something. Okay. Yes, we were rescheduled this morning. Until now, we are still here. Okay. But, but one may argue that, um, you know, rather than putting your lives at risk, it was good to prioritize safety. What is your take on that? Yes, uh, at least uh, they could have just told us that we can't go to Tamale. So if anything, you return our money to us. Then we look for an alternative way of going. But you don't keep mute, keep us here. Yesterday, others who, had, who, who didn't have places to stay had to go back and get hotels at their own cost. A friend slept here yesterday. Yes, and he's still here. For you, why did you opt for the airplane when we had a bus? Still? Yes, uh, as it is now. You know, the Bupe Yape has not been open yet. But I'm, I'm used to going along with the flight. So, yes, if the Stabo was there, that would have been an alternative for me. And for you to say, um, would you consider perhaps going by a bus? Should you be refunded? Well, the problem is the road. If the bridge is open, I learned when they get to Bupe, they take uh, tricycles to cross. Or is it Yapi? I don't want that inconvenient. That is why we are still here. But today, if they are unable to satisfy us, we'll take our monies back and look for other alternatives. So we are here at the airport and I'm joined by the Chief Operations Officer in the person of Captain Thompson to tell us what is going on today. Okay, so Captain, how far have we come with preparations to get the passengers? Well, what we're trying to do is that we're trying to do all our Tamale flights, scheduled Tamale flights today. We'll try and reaccommodate the passengers on the uh, flights that we are operating. But um, our main priority is to get to the passengers to their destination safely. Safety is our main priority. So if there's anything that we think that is unsafe, we'll have to stop, make sure that it becomes safe before we continue. Okay, so talk of safety. Essentially, yesterday, what was really the problem? Yes, it was um, a myriad of problems. We had. Um, some issues with the aircraft. We have some issues with uh, refueling in Tamale, and then um, uh, the weather generally was not that favorable to us as well. So, we couldn't carry on. Yeah, I mean, it got to a point where we, it wasn't 
possible to operate with Tamale at that point in time. Okay, so today so far, have we been able to get some of these passengers on board already? I believe we've been able to take a number of them on the, the first flight to Tamale. We are just about to operate a second flight into Tamale, and then we'll have two more flights to operate in Tamale. So we should be able to clear most of them by the end of the day. You've heard it, folks. It looks like the drama continues today, but then we are still hopeful and expecting that things would get better. We also heard from the Chief Operations Officer of Africa World Airline, the person of Captain Thompson, who assures that they are doing their possible best to get everybody to their location safely. But it is the Christmas season, and as we can see, there is a number of challenges with our transport system. When it comes to the aviation sector, as we can see, there's only one operator, and this seems to be posing a challenge. According to my person, that I heard from, they believe that the monopoly is not helping the system. So we are waiting to hear if the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority will be doing more to ensure that we get some flights, more aircrafts coming in to be able to curtail the situation. On the other hand, if you're also there and waiting to travel, well, from some checks I did, Africa World Air seems to be booked, so you have to go with the bus. But just as you heard from my gentleman here, it seems that that will not also come without challenges. For those going to the north, the Bupe situation is posing as a very strong threat and a difficulty for passengers heading that way. So that's the situation in Accra, in Tamale. It's not so different. Hashmin Mohammed has been there and has brought in this report. At the Tamale International Airport, a lot of passengers are stranded here at the Tamale International Airport. Some have been telling us that they have been stranded here for the past two days. And these are people who are coming far away from the Greater Accra. Some are coming from the Eastern region. In, in all, let me just sum it to say, a lot of them are coming from the southern part of the country. Some also tell us that uh, they have emergency flights to catch up to go to the Europe and if they are unable to link up to Accra then that means that their trip will be cancelled and it will be a huge cost to them. Some are also saying that they have been here for the past two days they have not been able to, to bath even though they have paid for the tickets that are sub they have paid for the, the tickets and that for now tell us what really happened. Well yesterday we came to work um, on health issues here at Tamale we had a, ret a, a return ticket to go back at um, 3. The check-in was 3. We were here by 2. We went through all the formalities. We sat for about 30 minutes, getting to an hour, and we were told that the flight cannot come. When we asked why the flight cannot come, we were told that the airport closes at 6. So if the flight comes, it cannot land. Well, we thought it was flimsy, but that's their work. So we just um, took it as they said. I came just as I am, no dress, nothing, because I knew I was going back. So we had to uh, talk to them. They gave us somewhere to sleep. They said we should come early this morning. We were here around 5.30. The first flight came. We thought we who didn't get the opportunity would have been sent on the first flight, but no. The regular people went, and we were still here. I was willing to just cross the barriers and go but I give them respect and I we were here and the second one also came people were checked in and those who booked since yesterday did not have their seat I told them I want to sit on the toilet anywhere in the plane because I, I, I'm a woman how can I be in this dress the same outfit the same panties how can I be how comfortable will I be so after talking, I have been given a place, but my other colleagues are still there. So I don't know what is happening. Thank you. That would be like one thirty.